Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figure Pit channel. We've got another big haul unboxing for you. We've got quite a bit of stuff to get through here. So we have the Hot Toys Black Panther Wakanda Throne. We have the Hot Toys Captain Marvel Deluxe Edition. We have the Hot Toys Marvel Spider-Man video game. Uh, Spider-Punk? Is that what it's called? Let me uh, double check that for you. Uh, Spider-Punk suit. Yeah, that should be interesting. We have the Hot Toys Suicide Squad Batman Imposter. And we have the M Toys Walking Phoenix Joker. And down here we have the couple. We've got Hot Toys Vision from Age of Ultron. And Hot Toys Scarlet Witch from Age of Ultron. And then we have the Black Panther Shuri figure which I'm quite keen to see that love the box art very nice and then the Captain America with Hot Toys from Infinity War that's quite a cool version of Cap right there a bit different and then we have the Hot Toys Civil War Winter Soldier so all of these figures will be available to buy on our website www.thefigurepit.com now I'm going to unbox them all for you and show you the goods. Drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe. Alright, now let's start with the Hot Toys Spider Punk. Quite curious to see this guy. Beautiful, vibrant looking piece. Really nice box art that carries on around. You've got the nice big flap. And you've got your uh, credits for everyone involved. And bringing this piece to us and then Spidey himself in the packaging comes complete with a very cool guitar looking forward to seeing that and here is Spidey housed safely inside the more than adequate packaging beautiful guitar there loving the look of that very nice and Spidey himself with a little spiky mohawk it's not something you see every day Get a nice close-up look at the details on this guy. I'll get him out of here soon. Just showing you how he looks. All packaged up here safely. Comes with a bunch of stuff. And here he is out of the packaging on his stand. Stands up really well. He's got good balance, so I didn't need to use the uh, the rod that comes with him. But they do supply that so you can pose him kind of swinging through the air whilst uh, playing a tune on his amply awesome guitar complete with strings and a whammy bar for whamming look at that throwing up the horns full on punk arachnid man I like his trainers he's got those sneakers on they give you another one of those little robo spider spider bot things so if you are collecting the line you'll have multiple little spiders just like in the game to assist him in his battles in NYC beautiful colors on this piece man good posability too I love the head sculpt proportions are nice they seem different to the usual uh, proportions that we get with the video game spider-man's from hot toys so this one seems a little bit more a bit more buff could just be me might be wrong but it does seem a little bit more buff from say the advanced version which I used to own I'll try and have a pose for him. But a very good looking piece. Nice and different. Nice and fun. I've just changed up the pose. Haven't changed the hands because I don't want to mess with him too much. Someone out there will be buying him, I'm sure. So probably best I be very careful with him. Don't want to risk any breakages but he seems pretty tough but I've put the guitar around his back now so he's just kind of walking down the street shooting out a web there just casually probably someone talking smack needs a bit of goo to cover their trap <laughs> silence nice let's take a look at the uh, the badges on the denim sleeveless jacket here very cool, got the uh, Union Jack, some Spider-Man badges, an 8-ball, uh, a star, a happy face, some lips, an anarchy sign, ooh, anarchy, Peter, 
It's not quite uh, the message we're trying to spread to the younglings, is it? <laughs> yeah. We all have our rebellious phase. And this is Spidey's. So, folks, there it is. Punk Spider-Man by Hot Toys, available on our website. Just the one in stock, so swoop in if you're interested. Very cool looking piece. All right, let's move on to the next. And now we have Nick's 1-6 scale Joaquin Phoenix Joker by M Toys. And this includes a really nice custom display base that does not usually come with this figure. So the price will reflect that, but it's a great looking piece. It comes with a beautiful custom base. I believe Nick did some little modifications, added in some buttons to parts of the suit that didn't have buttons that should have had, and now it does. So let's bust him out, set him free. And here is the stand that comes included with this figure. It doesn't usually come with this piece. It's a custom stand that Nick got separately, but he is including it with the piece. So there you go. It certainly enhance your display. Here is the Joker. M Toys. Uh, Nick said he included some extra hands that are better quality than the ones that usually come with this guy. I think it's the relaxed hands that are on the figure right now. And he also added some buttons to the shirt, which are not usually there, which was a damn shame, but he has added buttons now. So very, very cool. So there he is. Mr. Walking Phoenix is the Joker. does also come with his little cigarette there as well and the mask the gun some spare hands and the flowers all right so here he is out of the packaging standing on his nice custom base a great suit here by M toys and a really good head sculpt too on this one really nice coloring nice length great job on the paint on the face very detailed so there you have it folks the M toys Joker with an extra base and some added buttons to the shirt courtesy of Nick up for grabs on our website let's move on to the next piece And now we have the Hot Toys Captain Marvel figure, the deluxe edition that comes with all the extra goodies. I've never seen this figure in person before, so curious to see how she looks. Really nice box art on this one. Lovely colours, great design. And look at all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff packed into the Hot Toys box right there. That's a lot of goodies. Yeah, that is seriously a lot of goodies. You have, there's even a cat. Forgot about him or her. Lots of hands. Beautiful colors on the suit. And uh, there's old Larson. You got some effects. Nice base under there, we'll check that out. Alright, so here is Carol Danvers. Nice base, nice nameplate. Cat is not the most real looking cat I've seen. I think the one that came with Ripley was a bit more realistic looking, in the face at least. The beautiful armor. Really nice colors. Very little articulation in her kind of abdomen, like the, the midsection. Wasn't able to get much movement out of that, but I'm not too sure the reasons behind that choice there, but maybe it's just the nature of the suit. But uh, a likeness that's been captured rather well here by Hot Toys. Nice work on the hair. And the light catching the eyes certainly brings it to life. 
Beautiful suit though. Looking forward to trying out the other head sculpt with the mohawk. It's a very nice piece for display. The colours really help. If we just check out the side view here, you can see how nicely the layers of hair has been sculpted. That looks really nice. Yeah, it looks good from the side profile. Let's check out the view from the back. Mainly just to see the hair again, because that's done really well. I love the detail on the way that's sculpted. Lovely layering and paintwork. And again, just loving the suit. Love the colours. Looks great. Alright, looks fantastic with the... I guess you'd call it the actual Captain Marvel head sculpt with the the mohawk that lights up. There is a light up feature, folks, but I'm not going to mess with that. Great looking piece, though. Articulation seems a bit stiff, but it more than makes up for it with the, just the look, the presence. Beautiful looking suit. Let's just zoom in on the head sculpt. Connects to the body nice and easily. You can interchange the mohawk, I think, because we've got um, like a darker version of the mohawk in there as well, right there. And that's the same color as the hair on the, the actual likeness, so that makes sense. That cat does look a bit funny looking in the face. It goes from looking really realistic in the body and then the face is like, cartoon! That's interesting. But yeah, great looking piece. Captain Marvel, folks. And now on to Captain America from Infinity War. Very curious to see this guy in person at last. Nice looking box. I like the artwork. So, goddamn, check out this. You got a uh, huge weapon here. That is big and deadly looking. And we've got Cap himself, Mr. Chris Evans. Comes with a lot of stuff. It's a great looking piece so far. A beautiful base as well. Look at that. Very nice. This is the full package. This is the movie promo edition. So, extra special. Let's get him out, pose him up. Let's see what you can do, Cap. Now, this guy is no joke. This is a beastly piece. The suit is made from a really interesting material. Feels very durable. And the head sculpt is fantastic. I really like it. I love the, uh, the kind of muted, sort of darker tones to the, uh, the coloring of the suit. Check out Cap. Look at the hair's done really well, facial hair's done really well. Excellent. He's removed the uh, star from his chest. And you can see some of the, the battle damage around where the star was. Beautiful. But he really is Hench. He's a big piece, he's a big figure. There's no messing around with this one. I just posed him a little bit. It looks fantastic. I'm really quite surprised how good this looks. Didn't expect it to look bad or anything, but it just wasn't really on my radar. But here he is before me, proving me a fool. It is absolutely spectac. Well, folks, there we have it. Captain America, movie promo edition, one six scale piece from Hot Toys, available on our website. You know where to find us. Don't act like you don't. 
You know the score. And now on to the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Captain America Civil War Winter Soldier figure. Alright, so here he is. Looks like another great head sculpt. Looks very alive. They really captured the expression. And that's one hell of a gun. Get your spare hands. Nice base. Doesn't come with too much. But enough to get the job done. Set him free, turn him loose. Alright, now there he is. And I have to say I'm quite impressed with the likeness. The head sculpt is pretty much fantastic. I mean, with this particular hairstyle, I think sculpted hair was definitely the way to go. So good choices made there. His arm looks pretty nifty. I like his jacket. I've got a double bend in the elbow so you can get the holding the gun position looking right for a pose like this. Nice base, good balance. It's a pretty solid piece. On to Hot Toys Avengers Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch. Pretty simple box art on this one. It's not too bad. And here she is, and all her accessories. Now, I actually have this head sculpt and the body, I believe, I bought separately some time ago to do some experiments in 1-6 scale. And I can tell you this is one of the best looking female head sculpts by Hot Toys I've ever seen. I much prefer this version with the dark hair. Uh, each subsequent version just got lighter and lighter. And I just didn't like the way that looked, but this version is absolutely stunning. I actually used that head for a Vampirella uh, showcase video, a Fire Sin Vampirella, but with this head, trust me, it was amazing. You should uh, go ahead and check that out on my channel, Dean Night Free Free. Alright, let's take her out. But this is a beautiful piece. And there she is, absolutely stunning. I just brought one side of the, the hair around over the shoulder. And once you get the hair in the right kind of position that you want it in, you can really bring out the true beauty of the head sculpt. Incredible work on the makeup. Just love the dark hair and the dark makeup around the eyes. She is Scarlet Witch after all. And this was uh, definitely the look that I prefer the most from all of her appearances so far. Great outfit as well. Look at the boots, and then the knee-high socks, and then the dress, and the leather kind of, well, I'm not sure what to call them, I'm going to say gauntlets, <laughs> even though that doesn't quite seem appropriate, and a really nice leather jacket, just a beautiful, stunning piece this one, exceptional work. And we also have Vision from Age of Ultron, so you could always buy both. Just like Cap and Bucky, be ashamed to separate these two. Same as uh, good old Buddy and Woody, uh, Buddy and Woody, Buzz and Woody. <laughs> you don't want to separate them. Oh, there's Beavis, but where's Butthead? Where's he? Oh, hello. No. Might be somewhere else. Chung Li. Anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous figure. One of the best female figures by Hot Toys. And there's, you know, there's a lot of them, but this is one of my favorites. Just a stunning piece. I haven't even posed her. She's just standing there and she looks great. For your consideration. And now onto Vision from Age of Ultron by Hot Toys. Again, very simple art design on this one, but it gets the job done. Very similar box colouring to Wanda from uh, well, Scarlet Witch. So they go together very well, display-wise, even down to the boxes. Let's bust him out. 
Oh, there he is. I love that tone of, oh, what do you call that, purple or pink? It's kind of in between. But I didn't uh, remember that he came with Thor's hammer. Obviously, there's that awesome scene in Age of Ultron when he picks up Thor's hammer and everyone's just in shock. So that was uh, a funny scene, but great likeness. Very good. All right, so comes with a fair few hands, Thor's hammer, display base, a nice dynamic pole stand in case you want to have him hovering. All right, well, he is quite a nice looking figure. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of his look. I think the character is pretty cool. It was uh, interesting when he turned up in the movie. I think the colouring and the design of his cape has never really been one of my favourites. But he's a cool character. And Paul Bettany who plays him. Uh, if you've never seen Gangster Number 1, you should probably go ahead and check that out. Because that's where I first saw Mr. Bettany. But yeah, it's a fine looking piece. Great head sculpt. A close up look at that. The eyes. Nice work on the suit. So there you go. Vision. Just give you a little bit of a side profile shot. Let you soak up all the details. Alright, and now on to the Hot Toys exclusive, the Joker, Batman imposter version from Suicide Squad. And I have this figure at home, I did a quite extensive customization and modding to this piece and turned it into something else, a piece that I now call the Darkest Knight. So you can check that out on my channel, but this is the raw stock figure. And uh, kind of went under the radar for a lot of people. It's a fine looking piece uh, as it is, but with a few different little mods here and there, you can really make this into something special. And just take a look at the beautiful box art. Really nice. Very nicely done. Right now, here he is, and it's interesting to see the stock figure because I've been looking at my version for so long now, and it's just vastly different. Uh, I basically um, painted the eyes all white and replaced that mouth plate with one of my spare Ben Affleck Batman mouth plates, and then painted his mouth plate to look like uh, he had white makeup with the red lipstick and was uh, basically Batman who had eventually lost his sanity killed the Joker and become the thing that he was trying to defeat all those years. It's quite a tragic story really. And I took a Jackson XU uh, custom cape and spray painted it purple and uh, made it all nasty and ripped and weathered. But there is so much potential with this figure to turn it into something else. Not necessarily something better, it all comes down to your personal opinion, but I think there is a, a hell of a lot of potential to this particular Batman figure. It's not something you see every day. And with a few little tweaks and mods and swaps, you can create something truly intimidating. And here he is, an absolutely awesome presence. Very different. I love it. One day the idea just occurred to me. He'd been out for a while. And I suddenly just thought, what if I did this, and what if I did that, and the results were, you know, for me, I just absolutely love how it turned out back home. I wish, I wish I had a thought of bringing along my modified version to show you a comparison beside this one. Maybe if he uh, doesn't sell too quickly, I can get that done for you at some point. Because I think it'd be really interesting to see this one next to my one. Check out all the detail on him. And the 
beautiful colouring. He's got some rips in his cape. It's an evil looking piece. And the old side profile, check out his grill. I mean, like I said, folks, if you're not into that and you have one of the other Ben Affleck Batmans from Dawn of Justice, you can just take one of those mouth plates and put it in here, and it just makes such a huge difference. It takes on a really creepy vibe. I mean, it's already pretty creepy, but I love how he turned out once I did a few changes. But there you go, folks, the Batman imposter figure. Now in stock on the website. All right, so now we're moving on to the final figure in this particular big haul unboxing video. And this is probably the one I'm most keen to see in person. I just have a feeling the head sculpt, the detail on the hair and the outfit is gonna be something else. Uh, the beautiful box, absolutely perfect choice for the coloring, the design, classy, and uh, very cool to look at. Now I've also got the uh, Wakanda throne here, but no Black Panther. So I might try and incorporate uh, Shuri, uh, Shuri, I was going to say Shuri Huri, <laughs> like Harry Carey, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and incorporate Shuri here into uh, sitting onto that throne if I can. If not, well, it won't work, but we'll see. And there she is. And just as I suspected, she looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Take a look at the details of her outfit. And, uh, oh, we got some batteries. What's that for? I have no idea. Batteries, batteries. Uh, maybe these light up. I will have to do a little bit of research, find out. But can't wait to get her out and pose her up. Take a little look. Just love the box. Beautiful. Okay, so these gauntlet uh, weapons, I'm sorry I don't know the name of them, but there is a battery compartment in each of these. And if you look at the front, it looks like a panther. If I can just get in there, yeah, it's like a, a panther kind of roaring. So that's a really cool design. So that's where the batteries go in each of those. Okay, I am really impressed with Shuri here. She is stunning, absolutely beautiful in every way. Incredible sculpting on the hair. The likeness is pretty much dead on 100%. And with the uh, kind of unusual for seeing on a 1-6 scale, you don't usually see this kind of... Um, now, what would you call it? I don't want to get the, uh, the term wrong, but I'm just going to say makeup. Uh, even though that seems pretty inaccurate, <laughs> I'll go with makeup. But those kind of white little dots around her cheekbones, eyebrows and forehead. Just um, incredible. Beautiful work on the outfit. I noticed her arms feel different to, uh, let's say, Wonder Woman, which has a much tougher, harder feeling kind of skin uh, rubberized kind of body, whatever the stuff they use for Wonder Woman's body is. It's not what they've used here. I guess this would be more like what they used for Gamora, but she's absolutely stunning and looks very, very real, very alive. So I'm very impressed. I really love the look of the piece. Quite tempted to bring her back to Night Vision HQ for the treatment. There's so much good stuff here at the moment, folks. I'm having trouble deciding what to bring back. Don't have much time to do it, so I have to choose carefully. But very tempted by Shuri here. All right, let me see if I can get her at least standing beside the throne. And then we'll wrap it up.
So folks, that's the end of another big haul unboxing. I'm filming another one right after this one. We've got even more stuff coming recently. We've got Blitzway Ghostbusters, Star Wars stuff, and uh, Robocop. Just a lot of cool stuff that couldn't you know, fit in this unboxing video. There's already enough to be getting on with here. So once I've uh, finished filming this, I'm going to get on with filming the next big haul unboxing. So keep an eye out for that on the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the Figure Pit store. Just trying to make it as easy as possible for collectors in the UK to sell their figures. We even send a courier to come and collect it from your house. And you can also trade figures with us. So make sure you check us out on our website. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>